was staying on uh, the medical association where members of the Association of Resident Doctors at the Federal Medical Center will have staged a peaceful protest to demand the release of the abducted colleague, Dr. Ghani Yakubola. Dr. Kubola, the ophthalmology resident doctor at the National Eye Center in Kaduna, was kidnapped on December the 27th, 2023, with her husband and nephew. When her husband was released in March this year, Dr. Kubola and her nephew remain in captivity. This development propelled doctors at the FMC award to stage this protest to ask for her release without further delay. The protest was led by the branch president, Asunlohi Olufemi, with executive members moving around the hospital armed with placards with various inscriptions, the doctors urged security agencies and the government to intensify efforts to secure her freedom. Meanwhile, in a related development, members of the Association of Resident Doctors at the Federal Medical Center, Asaba, also protested as it threatened to go on industrial action if nothing is done to secure her release, Ikenamichi reports. These doctors, despite their busy schedule, decided this morning to join calls for the release of their colleague who was adopted since December last year alongside her husband and nephew. Though her husband has been released in March, she and her nephew remain in captivity. Marching around the premises of the Federal Medical Center with their placards, these young doctors are asking government and security agents to ensure her freedom. We proceeded on this peaceful protest to draw the attention of the government, the government of the Federation, government of Kaduna State, relevant security agencies to come to our rescue. Remember, injury to one, injury to all. Pleading with the security agents, pleading with the Federal Institute, they should please help us secure a safe release back to our family. So we are calling on all the security agencies, we are calling on the federal government, calling on the Kaduna state government to do everything possible because we are sensitive humans as doctors. We don't want to withdraw our services. But if we are pushed to the wall, that will be done because the safety of doctors, the safety of our families, the safety of you journalists, all Nigerians are important. These protesters highlight the growing concerns about the safety and well-being of medical professionals in Nigeria and the need for urgent action to address these issues. Now we are the targeted species, doctors, health workers. We are not happy about it and we are saying enough is enough. The government should come to our aid. The security agencies should come to our aid. They should protect lives and properties. It's their duty to do that. Because if this continues, we cannot guarantee, one, that there will be industrial harmony going forward. And also, two, we can also guarantee that doctors will want to stay back in the country. So the jackpot syndrome will worsen. It is hoped that this protest, hashtag, bring back Dr. Ganiat, aimed to raise awareness about Dr. Ghania's abduction, we ensure government and security agencies push for her safe return. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba. And for more updates, the President Association of Resident Doctors, Federal Medical Center, Asaba, Dr. Kenneth Okoli joins me on the news. Good to have you join us. Um, good evening. Thank you. Um, Rather unfortunate, the circumstance, you know, upon which we are speaking this evening. But I just wanted to ask you, um, between December and now, has the National Association of Resident Doctors gotten any information about her whereabouts and efforts to rescue Dr. Ghaniyat? Um, we, we, yes, we, what we know about uh, the issue is that uh, she was kidnapped in December and uh, after some time, her husband was released. We know that uh, so many demands have been made by her abductors, most of which have been met. And for our whereabouts, we don't know. If we know where she is, definitely we will know how to uh, assist getting her. We don't know her whereabouts. But uh, what we know is that um, she uh, might be alive. Most likely she's alive. And we'll do anything 
possible to see how she's released promptly. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we as an institution have given enough time for the government, the economic the government and the security agencies to see how uh, they could assist. We're giving enough time. Seven months, over seven months is just too much. A long time. And we feel that uh, we have given that time. The rope has been given, the long rope has been given, and is enough. Mm -hmm. Now is the time for them to act. I was we listening just to... Just recently... Sorry to interrupt you, but I was listening to uh, the spokesperson for the Cardinal State um, Police Command who was asking for the patience and support of doctors and, you know, and saying that their efforts have been made to, to rescue her. How do you react to that you know, request for pa more patience and support? Uh, we know that very well that they will keep requesting for more patience, but we are running out of patience. Just imagine someone being kidnapped um, for that period of time, away from her family. And she was kidnapped while she was in the hospital. How much patience do we need? Or do we need, rather? We can't wait any longer. We can't wait any longer. We know very well that something that the government can do to hasten our release. But we are not seeing those machineries in place. And that's why we are now going on the protest to see to get their, their attention and to make them work harder than they are doing. When, how long are we to wait? Another eight months until she's released? How, how are we sure that she will still be alive until whenever they want to rescue her? So we, are, we are calling on them to act fast. They should work on their intelligence. They should put uh, all hands on deck to ensure that she's released. Is it because she's a doctor or why she's still in cap captivity? Well, if she was a prominent person, do you think she would still be in captivity? Mm. Those are uh, the questions we keep Dr. asking. Dr. Colley, if I may quickly and comment because of my time, I, mm. I just wanted to ask you because I heard you saying, you know, in that report that we took earlier, um, how, you know, doctors are now a, a target. I, I just wanted to ask you why, you know, because we've seen the kidnap of doctors even just yesterday. We just spoke with the, um, the spokesperson for the Bermuda Police Command, who, you know, on the abduction of 20 medical students as well. Why do you think that doctors are now um, some sort of target? And what more do you think can be done? Well, I, I don't know why doctors are targets, but I know that they kidnap a lot of citizens in, in the country. But you know, it's very painful, because it's very painful where, when doctors are kidnapped, because these are people that render, render most times selfless service. Because if you are to compare the remuneration you get in the country currently, you know it's not, it's not enough. So when we when we render those services, it's now very baffling to now to now hear that the doctor is kidnapped. You know, so we wonder the doctor renders the service, stays back in the country, and he still kidnapped. This is the, the onus lies on the government to provide security for all citizens in the country. No, yes, we know that doctors are important, but all citizens ought to be protected, mm. whether they are doctors or nurses or any other person in the, in the country. But I don't know why the doctors are being targeted at the, at the moment, but we are saying that if this continues, it's not going to help the health sector. Dr. Koli, thank you so much for your time. And we're praying for the release okay. of Dr. Ganiyat and the 20 medical students who were also kidnapped. We've been speaking Free with the Dr. Ganiyat Popola. Right, we've, been speaking with the, we've been speaking with the President our Association family. of Resident Doctors, Federal Medical Centers, about Dr. Kenneth Koli. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.